end of November last year, I went on a sailing cruise in Thailand. I took with me my Leica M6 and 10 rolls of Ecta 100. And this is what happened. Developing and scanning was kindly provided by Carmen Sita Film Lab, my lab of choice. If you want to check them out, the link will be down below this video. After some heavy rain the day before, the morning started with a beautiful sunrise. We had to get up early because we had a lot of things planned and our final destination for the day was a little bit further away and we had to cover more miles than the days before. Only 10 minutes cruise away was our first spot of the day and it's something you can easily overlook because it's a cave that is only visible when you get really close. It is only accessible during low tide and it is advised to swim. The reason for the swim vest is not so much the distance you need to cover, much rather because of the notorious long tail boats that could easily overlook you. Some of us, including me, took the dinghy, which was an interesting experience, since it got pitch black dark in there. But the light at the end of the tunnel brought a nice surprise and it was my personal highlight of the whole trip. You have to see it in person to understand how amazing that place was. But it was time to leave and we took off to our next spot. The day before we spotted this small cabin at the bottom of this massive rock island and we wanted to see what was going on there. It turned out that it must have been built by fishermen that might even live there, who knows. After some uneventful hours we finally arrived at Koh Rock two small sparsely inhabited islands with a beautiful lagoon. On the beach you can find a lot of rocks that suddenly start moving around.
We had a little bit of time left before sunset and on the map we discovered a viewpoint that we wanted to go and check out. That generator is probably the only one on the whole island. The path that led us up to the viewpoint is also the escape route in case of a tsunami. The climb was fairly steep and surrounding us were all those strange sounds. We finally made it up to the top and the view was totally worth the effort. On our way back to the beach we came across this dragon and since I was shooting a 28mm lens I had to get close and personal. Not close enough but better safe than sorry. The next morning we were again greeted by a beautiful sunrise and it was time to say goodbye to Korok. After some time I thought it might be a good idea to get a shot close to sea level. So I went down in one of the cabins to take a shot out of one of the small windows. It might be a little risky to stick an expensive camera that is certainly not waterproof out of a window with waves coming in, but I simply had to get the shot. Later we came across this random rock formation in the middle of nowhere. Unfortunately, the current was fairly strong and there was no free buoy available and we had to continue our cruise. And then some dark clouds rolled in and the wind picked up. For us it was time to put on life vests and to sit tight. It was a bumpy ride, but also a welcome change. Nobody had to throw up and after an hour it already got better. Later that afternoon we arrived in Koh Phi Phi, which is an island some of you might be familiar with. Alright, that's it for the second part of this adventure. Tune in for part 3 that will come out next Sunday. <laughs> <laughs>